Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. The President, along with Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, are now witnessing a demonstration by Secretary Arthur P. Tugade, CAAP Director General Jim C. C. Bionco, and CAAP Chief of Staff Attorney Dan Jun Lucas on how to use the contactless self-service check-in kiosk, which is a key innovative feature in the Bicol International Airport. Tayo na, Pilipinas, tayo na magbago. Hawat kamay tayo para sa pagkasenso. Ikaw at ako, tayong lahat. Para sa tunay na pagbabago Mas nangyo ang paligid Alam ang mga krimen Rape, droga at mga Nakawan, dapat nga mapigilan Tayo na, Pilipinas Tayo na, magbago Hawat kamay tayo Para sa Why am I here? I am here because I love my country and I love the people of the Philippines. Thank you, Mr. President. Again, a round of applause. We may now all be seated.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the inauguration of the Bicol International Airport. To formally begin our program, may we invite the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, Secretary Arthur P. Tugade, for his welcome remarks and overview of the project with audiovisual presentation. His Excellency, President Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte, fellow servants in government, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it was uh, on November 8, 2016, when Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte did the groundbreaking on this Cabicol International Airport. December 8, 2016. Ito po yung pang-apat na groundbreaking dahil ho, noong mga nakaraang taon, dalawang dekada, it was more than two decades, nagkaroon na ho ng tatlong groundbreaking. Puro groundbreaking, puro groundbreaking, nabroken ang tao sa pag-aantay ng proyekto. That was December 8, 2016. Tandang-tanda ko pa, noong papala-pala ang presidente sa groundbreaking, kasama rin din ho akong pumala. Ang sabi ng presidente sa akin, Art, matatapos mo ba itong proyektong ito sa termino ng aking administrasyon? Ang sabi ko ho, Mr. President, we will complete and finish the project. Wala na hong sinabi ang ating Pangulo. Ang sabi lang ng ating Pangulo sa akin, simple, dalawang pananalita lamang. Sabi niya, Art, I believe you, I trust you. Noong natapos ho yung usapan na yan, nasa likuran ko, ang ating mahal na si Congressman Salceda. Lumapit sa akin si Congressman Salceda, tandang-tanda ko yun. Ang sabi niya, Secretary, kung meron hong magagawa ako, lumapit ka lang sa akin, tutulungan kita. Napakagandang pakinggan yung sinabi ni Congressman Salceda, kaya lang may pahabol siya. Ang sabi niya, kaya mo ba talagang tapusin ito? Ang sabi ko, tatapusin ko ho yan, Congressman. Ganyan siya. Ito ho, yung Bicol International Airport, na kung saan nung groundbreaking na yon inabaunan ako ng alinlangan at duda na matatapos itong proyektong ito. At yung alinlangan at duda na yan ay sinamahan ng ilang unos at bagyo na kung saan naantala yung proyekto. Hindi ho nakontento yung unos at bagyo, dumating ang pandemya COVID-19, naantala na naman ang proyekto, hindi ho natigil dyan Dalawang beses ako, dalawang beses ako sinunugan dito sa project na ito. Hindi ko na ipapaliwanag kung ano yung pagsusunog na yon. Malaking antala ho sa proyektong ito. At bagamat meron mga pagyayaring ganyan at pinapabaunan ako ng alinlangan at duda, I made it my firm commitment and my personal crusade to finish and finish this project. Mr. President, that was December 8, 2016. Today we are all gathered here because the project, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, is already completed. <laughs> Alam niyo ho, kung pag-uusapan natin itong proyektong ito, makikita niyo yung runway na yan, 2.5 kilometers. Makikita niyo yung dalawang bridge ng pasahero Dalawa yun. Ito ho ay pwedeng tanggapin at patakbuhin ang tinatawag natin ng mga Airbus na aeroplano. Ganyan ho, kalaki at kagilas-gilas itong airport na to. In other words, we now have planted the seeds for international connectivity and convenience 
not only national and domestic, but international as well. Ito ho, pag pumasok ka, ano yung makikita mo? Tagdag niyan, yung palipara na yan, ngayon ho ay tinatawag natin night rated. Ang ibig hong sabihin niyan, mas kinalumubog ang araw, lilipad at pwedeng maglanding ang aeroplano, pagkat ang pasiliting ito ay night rated. Tanong, kailan mag-uumpisa yung night rated? Sagot, ngayong araw din na to. Pwede pa hong tanungin kung nandiyan dyan itong runway na yan. Anong kailan mag-uumpisa yung commercial operation nitong paliparang ito? Sagot, yung domestic commercial operation ay tama lang na mag-uumpisa ngayon. Pinagpaliban yan because of security reasons. Bukas na bukas din. Babaybay at lilipad ang Philippine Airlines at Cebu Pacific. Ito ho yung sa labas pagpasok mo, makikita nyo yung ginawa natin kanina. Contactless approach sa check-in. Contactless approach sa check-in ng bagahe. In other words, modern. In other words, competitive sa airport. At sabihin ko lang ho sa inyo, ito ho yung pangalawang paliparan na kung saan meron tayong modernong approach na ganyan. Ilang buwan na nakakaraan, ang ating mahal na Pangulo ay nag ng Clark. Ito ho yung pangalawa. Kaya nga ho ba, kaya nga ho ba makikita ninyo, itong paliparan na to ay magkakaroon ng accommodation translated in terms of riding passengers to million passengers a year. At kung papasok at babaybayin nyo itong lugar na to, Nakakakita kayo ng mga lounge. Heroes Lounge, eh ka nga, ito ho'y para sa ating mga kasundaluhan, sa mga military, na kung saan pag pumasok dito, meron silang special na lugar. Ganyan din ho, yung ating mga tinatawag na OFW, yung mga seafarers, meron din ho silang lounge dito. Special na lugar. Ito ho ang magpapatibay at magpepreba na kinikilala natin yung kadakilaan at kontribusyon ng military, sundalo, yung mga kontribusyon ng ating overseas workers, yung ating mga seafarers. Pagkat batid at alam natin, lalo't higit sa pandemya ngayon, sila ho ay isang malaking plataforma upang yung ekonomiya natin ay umunlad. Ito ho yung programang inupisahan natin ng 2016. December 8 it was. Today, I say to the President, Sir, Mr. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Sir, here is the Bicol International Airport delivering to you for the use of the Bicolanos at ang buong sambayanan, an airport, as they say, in delivery, signed, sealed, and delivered, Mr. President. Ito lang ho ang aking masasabi. Meron hong isang video na ipipresenta na kung saan, if you marry what I say with the vision you will see, with the video, video you will see, then you will understand the excitement that we had in delivering to you, Mr. President, Bicol International Airport. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Secretary Tugade. Existing Legazpi Airport geographically located in a hilly area that is also frequently on the path of strong typhoons has battled countless stormy days. As Albay province and the region's economies grow, the need for a bigger and more robust airport terminal to better serve Bicolanos arose. In 2007, the site acquisition and detailed engineering design for BIA commenced. Since then, the construction of BIA's airside and landside facilities continued. But through the years, the construction encountered several delays and three groundbreakings. 
In 2016, when President Rodrigo Roa Duterte took office, the project broke ground, signaling a renewed motivation to complete the airport. with the goal of providing an efficient and quality service to travelers. The DOTR and CAB is greatly honored to officially open Bicol International Airport. The Bicol International Airport Development Project has an overall project cost of 4.7 billion pesos. The BIA Passenger Terminal Building with an area of 18,000 square meters is expected to accommodate 2 million passengers a year. The new airport's 175 meters by 150 meter apron is equipped to accommodate up to three aircrafts. A new control tower is also constructed for BIA, providing the new airport with a 7th floor air traffic control center. BIA's spacious 5,900 square meters vehicular parking area has 200 parking slots. This new airport is now realized with the tireless efforts of the Duterte administration for the Filipinos and the traveling public. At this juncture, we shall now witness the unveiling of the marker of the Bicol International Airport. May we request the President, assisted by Secretary Arthur P. Togade, Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Representative Joey Salceda, Governor Albichara, Mayor Victor Perete, and CAAP Director General Captain Jim C. Sidionco to proceed to the center stage for the ceremonial unveiling of the marker. Ready, Mr. President? At the count of three, one, two, three. The marker reads as follows. Bicol International Airport, inaugurated by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Republic of the Philippines in Daraga, Albay, the 7th October, 2021 construction of a new air transportation hub known as the country's most scenic gateway with a tenfold increase in capacity from the previous Legazpi airport to better serve the entire Bicol region. Realized through the continued efforts of the Department of Transportation and the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines to provide not just an airport, but a world-class travel experience demonstrating the Department of Transportation's commitment to the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program and to continuously provide a safer, more modern, and secure airport that is globally connected for the Filipinos and the traveling public. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We may now all be seated. Now, may we again call on Secretary Arthur P. Tugade to please introduce our guest of honor. Uh, kababayan ko. And dito ho ang isang tunay na Pilipino, kabubuhay para sa Pilipino, 
ang ating Pangulo ng Republika, President Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. Thank you. In bold letters, Nagandito, Mr. President, we are live on TV. Kaya wag ka magmura. This is not a place for epithets and uh, making curses. Uh, ano ito? Uh, formal ito. You know, uh, in the hindsight, uh, one of the things uh, disappointed ang mga tagadabaw is because sinabi ko sa lahat sa cabinet, uh, the funds, uh, walang political alignments, walang political color it will be distributed equally. But there was one caveat na sinabi ko kay Art. Unahin ninyo ang ibang lugar, huwag ang Dabao. So, ang Dabao, kung napunta kayo, hindi makalahati sa ganda. And this space, uh, crowded masyado. Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugadi, Senator Bongo, Presidential Advisor for Bicol Affairs, Marvel Clavicilia, yung mga kaibigan mong MPA, pakisabi ang asa kanila na they have been overtaken by uh, modernization ng bayan. Ang sinunog nila dito, it only shows their bankruptcy in the mind. Hindi ako bilib sa tapang-tapangan nila. Albay 2nd District Representative Joy Salceda. Ako Bicol Party List Representative Alberto Al Alfredo Garbin. Sorry. Albay 3rd District Representative Fernando Cabredo, Ako Bicol Party List Representative Elisaldi Co, AFB Chief of Staff, General Faustino Jr., and the other AFP officials in attendance, Albay Governor Al Francis Pichara, sir, nice to see you. Been a long time. The Raga Municipal Mayor. Victor Perete, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines Director General Captain Jim Sinjongko, the Raga Municipal Vice Mayor Jerry Rafael Haugan Haushan, Haushan, Sincha ka na matanda ng dudubli minsan, fellow workers in government. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Tony uh, De Leon of the PNP. Saan ka ba? Mahiyain masyado itong ano, <laughs> aid ko yan. Ito, 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 daraga ito. Balang araw magmayor yan. Mga kababayan, sabi sa mga niya. Uh, Biyuda yan. Ang asawa niyan, pulis, pinatay ng NPA. Ang tatay ng asawa niya, pulis, pinatay ng NPA. Ewan ko kung anong nakuha nila. What gain or gains they earned by killing people. It used to be a very relevant issue, the insurgency, 
because of the dynamics of our society at one time. But, you know, I mean, uh, presidential advisor, the vehicle, si Marvin Clavicelia, ala ko pa for tier law kami. And we could not, you know, go to school because of the constant riots between the police and the mga yung panahon na yun siguro. But to continue galit ako sa kanila. To continue the killing and continue the ferocity of the Hate. I don't know what goes to it, mga to. But I'm not happy with them. Uh, I'm glad that uh, we suspended the talk. Maybe the next president can do it. But in the Kukaya. May I read my speech? This is only two pages. Tapos, uwi na tayo. It is my pleasure to join you today on the inauguration of the Bicol International Airport. The completion of this world-class and state-of-the-art government infrastructure project brings us pride and joy as it will provide the better transportation for our people who are traveling to and fro the Bicol region. I congratulate the Department of Transportation as well as the local officials and project partners, including the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines for turning Bicol International Airport into a reality after an 11 year delay. Indeed, today's inauguration is another milestone in the administration's Build, Build, Build program. We are fulfilling our vision of improving the lives of Filipinos by providing quality infrastructure projects that allow for greater connectivity and mobility, create more jobs, and boost economic activity in other regions. This airport is also dubbed as the most scenic gateway in the country, promises to provide an unforgettable travel experience, not only to visitors, but also to many Bicolanos. On this note, I urge the management and staff of the Bicol International Airport to ensure that your passengers will get the best quality of service they deserve. I am confident that once fully operational, this airport will be able to serve the needs of those which expected 2 million passengers annually and provide efficiency, reliability, and safety standards to ensure a modern airport. Let us not, let, let us look forward for a stronger and more vibrant future of the entire Bicol region and its surrounding provinces. Mabuhay, at congratulations para sa inyo talaga Very nice. Thank you, Mr. President. This concludes our program. Maraming salamat, mahal na Pangulo, sa inyong pangunguna sa pagbukas ng pandaigdigang paliparan sa Picolania. Dios mabalo sa samuyang na momotan na presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte sa panginginot sa pag-inagurar kan Bicol International Airport. Again, ladies and gentlemen,
President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. May we request everyone to please remain seated until after the President has left the venue. Thank you. 